again. What I'm gonna show you guys is just the lock now. That elbow crank is standing booty grounding. Take really famous left two weeks ago. There's a knee head type of the Arm. Okay, I've been an expert at this for like a while. You try to cup the elbow here, especially if you have the high under hook. I told you I do like an eye hunter hook because I can manipulate his body. Around. It just here is being lazy. You don't really have good control. So I do like the high under hook. But when he has an eye hunter hook, especially like when you're pummeling and you're fighting and all that, I can time this and I can go from here, my tight tricep hold, to just chopping the elbow here. And now I might get the energy, maybe I knee him and I get a oh uh, first, and then I go here. Okay, and he didn't keep it back, but that's fine. This would also be a good three-quarter of pipe position as well. Okay, and he could win this. And he could yeah. Yeah, so right. if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen, but sometimes I do end up. If it stays bent, keep it back. And just go going like here. And get this. Okay. From here, you can rip it. By putting your hands together and rip it in the street. If the guy had a knife, I'm gonna rip it yeah. to the sky ballistically. Huh! Just like I, I might taste him throwing like a shovel hook on. So Ooh. hooks and it shovels to the uppercut here, and we're like, wham, wham. Okay. So if it is, if, if he had a weapon, we're, we're playing for real. Okay. Can't let me do. So we're over under. If I feel this here. Do so. Just here. Okay. Now that I got him here, I can rip. Sometimes I can go on my toes and tap. Tap out when you need to. Boom. I can assist him with the head tilt and take him down. All right. He fights up again, so I still got a lot. Here, I'm going to take him back to him with a boxing tech hook or a tech hook and a cheeto. I'm going to come here. Okay, get him on his toes, head tilt, go to the palm, to the top of the head, tilt him down, get him down, control him here. Get him here, whatever. If I transition down, you transition up. Okay. Get this. Other side. Okay. Here, left side under, oh, oh, under him. Okay. Try to move. If you're relaxed, you'll be in proper position. And here, the time is here. Okay, but it has to be one eye back pivot. Okay. So, here, boom, tap him out. Whatever. If he wants to do that to himself, okay. I don't care. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to pummel. Press and pummel. Breathe, just relax. From the pummeling drill, I'm going to try to get my timing and hook somewhere. Be, be where you're supposed to be. It doesn't have to be full power, just be in position. Oh, that happened again, that's okay. You can go three quarter, and then like three quarter take over a cotton out east out, and you can be even the face for That's what happens, that's what happens. And I'm trying to get that out of the way. Good problem, good. Here, rip, tap, or sometimes they don't tap because it's a tournament, they're on their toes, help them out with the head tilt, break their structure. Okay, go to like a knee on ribs position. Okay, one other thing, this is really nasty and only a couple people have tried it in the UFC, but they, they've been like scared to break the other person's form. With professional, break the other person's form. Not an amateur, they're professional fight, break his arm, okay? Uh, purple belt, don't break his arm. Black belt, world championships, Abu Dhabi, Pan Ams, break his arm. <laughs> okay, there's like, differences. Yeah, you gotta win. So, sometimes you can't get deep in here, but I might be here. I can back pivot and put the forearm stack around. And if I really pivoted quickly, yeah. we've seen a couple girls in the UFC, but they're too scared to like really do it. But if it comes to you, they get my guy when he gets the cage, and they kept going, rip! I can snap it. Okay, also, uh, uh, Mickey Gall did this to, uh, Mickey, Mickey Gall did this standing elbow crank to right hook to knock down Sage Northcutt. He was here, they're fighting, boom, 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 boom. He hit this here. Whack! Ooh. So the back pivot times 
boom, to the right hook, towards you, power. And then he rear naked. The commentators didn't catch it, but that's what Mickey Gall did to Sage Northwood. We've seen John Jones do it all the time, and then we saw that little dojo weirdness a couple weeks ago. That's the standing down elbow crate, and the less trained someone is, the more easy it is to get it. Okay, so it's good to know, but you end up with something. Something's often a very good thing. You gotta work on your standing. So play with that slowly, the standing bent over quick. Okay. Is, is the goal just to try to get no matter what? Just try to get What you get? Into if you're going real, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so if it slips out a little bit and you're unsure, that's okay. If it becomes a forearm thing, depending on the situation. Okay. Okay. This is pretty nasty. This I can control and slowly try to tap them. And if you see my so videos, which that's one, what I do. Which ones are the ones that would create the break? It's more at the forearm, that's where you... The break? Yes. Yeah, the elbow's not really gonna break. It could tear the labrum a little okay. bit, John yeah. Jones. Yeah. John Jones yeah. does it against the guys, KG. That's he a, tore the labrum of... Uh, a lot of crank here and here. And here. So, um, in the, in the, the guy the worked at the Black House, bald guy. He keeps coming back even though he's older. <laughs> so he did tear his labrum in, in oh, okay. the fight. So yeah. I mean, if you wrench it fast, yeah. damage yeah, can be yeah, done. Yeah. But it's not like it's gonna be a compound fracture like the forearm's gonna be. So the forearm snapper, so if we were against the wall, I can go. Uh, okay. And but if I really... Just a quick, like... Back pivot. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm wait. Okay, but don't do that to me. Well, not gonna be training for this.